So I think the simplest way that I can explain it is if you had breast tissue to begin with and fatty tissue, the implant itself compresses tissue. And over time, it thins and thins and thins and thins and thins. Now, my supposition is that when you take that away, the cellular recovery or the fluffing that's talked about depends on those layers. Like how much is the fatty layer? How much is the breast layer? Now, but over time, a breast is typically more fatty replaced. So there'll typically be more tissue. So mine, I feel like it fluffed up double since when I looked at them after surgery. Yeah, I, I think to begin with, we knew you had a lot of tissue from the very, very beginning. You just had a bigger implant than you needed really uh, to get a, a, a change. And then when we did your explant and I repositioned your tissue, it became pretty obvious you're gonna have a C-type breast, which, you know, I wish, you know, I could provide that result for every single patient because then just as you are now, you're much more comfortable with the appearance change and it's not really affecting you from a psychologic perspective where some people are just, they get unspooled with the change. Because they go from a double D to an A. Yeah. And that's, that's hard. But you guys have support in office to help. There's therapist. You guys have the oxygen machine, which I've used, the hyperbaric chamber. It's incredible. You also have lymphatic drainage. You have a balancer that you go in, you guys, and you put this whole suit on. 